What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is the Gab Z2 smartphone and it is a $100 smartphone and it runs Android and it's a smartphone geared towards kids but maybe you don't want to give the kids the internet but you want to give them the smartphone experience. This phone will do that for them. It's a hundred bucks and service for it starts for as little as 20 bucks. Let's do an unboxing. I'm going to show you the setup for this, show you some of the features and then give you my thoughts at the end of this video. All right. So here is the Gab Z2 phone. Like I said, it is a hundred dollar phone and the service starts for as little as 20 bucks. You get a 30 day money back guarantee. The display on this is 5.45 inches, eight megapixel camera, Bluetooth built into this. 14 essential apps for you and GPS so you can track your child, your kid. And then it gives you some of the features on the back of this phone. So let's open this up, see what comes inside. All right, so here's everything laid out. First of all, they do give you some skip, uh, stickers here for your child or for yourself, Gab Life. Do cool stuff. A lot of Gab Life. Obviously, Gab is the, uh, the company that's releasing this phone. That was the phone because I just turned it on, but you get some stickers, you get a charger. So you get a USB-C charger, very nice. You get some paperwork inside, inside the paperwork is going to tell you all about the phone, get to know your phone, uh, how to install the battery, how to charge the battery, your home screens, learn the phone basics and all of that. Get a free service for free when you refer a friend. And also get a free t-shirt from the Gab Life support line. Uh, go to Gab Life, choose your favorite shirt, I'll check out, enter your Gab Z2 phone number as your promo code to redeem your free shirt. So kind of cool, your kid can get a free shirt when they sign up. So I'm giving you, you know, some cool little extras that your child might be interested in. The stickers, the free t-shirt, and it's an all-in-one package, so you don't have to go out there and, and buy something else. The only thing that didn't come included was uh, earphones or headphones, but most kids already have those, or you can pick them up pretty cheaply on Amazon or something like that. So here's the phone right here. I'm going to go through, it says battery has run out of your phone, is about to shut down. So I'm going to have to charge this up. So it looks like right out of the box, the phone doesn't come charged up. Usually when you get a phone, it's about 40%. So I'm going to charge this up, and I'll be back after this. All right, so I set this thing up already. And by setup, I mean, all you do is turn it on and it's good to go. There's, it was like really refreshing to not have to go through a million steps to set this thing up. Everything was set up, um, you know, from literally you just turn on the phone and it starts working. I didn't have to activate the SIM card um, or any of that stuff. It just worked. It was beautiful. It was amazing. Let's just take a look over the phone here. So at the top, you get your headphone jack. On the right hand side, you get your volume up and down, and then you get your power button. At the bottom of the phone, USB type C charging. On the left hand side, you don't get anything. There's nothing on there. And that's the whole phone you get the on the in the terms of the sides. On the back, you get your fingerprint sensor and you get your camera with the dual flash. ZTE makes the phone. Gab Wireless offers the support and uh, you know the service. And that's pretty much it. And here's the display. I, I changed a couple of things and I'll go through those things with you guys. First of all, I, I did set up the fingerprint and I'll show you how I did that, but ultimately it works great. Works really good, very accurate. So no problems with that. This is what the, the home screens look like. You know, when you when you boot up, this is what I didn't add any apps or anything. You right off the bat on the screen, you get your phone app, texting app, contacts, camera, music app, calendar, gallery, and video. Now just remember this phone has no internet, so I don't get uh, I can't go on the internet. I can't go on a social media network. I can't download anything. Like I'm connected to my Wi-Fi, but literally there's nothing that I can do because all the apps, this is every single app that's on the phone. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing on here that's gonna be able to give me internet. 
and there's no app store either. So it's not like I can just go download it. I only get the apps that they allow me to get. Now you can control and customize some of the things like if you want to customize your lock screen and your wallpaper, you can come in here and do wallpapers and use some of the ones that they have. As you can see, very nice. You can also uh, go into your photos and use one of your photos that you took as a wallpaper. And that's all, you can't download any new wallpapers. You get widgets, which maybe if you wanted to add like a calendar widget, for instance. So if I wanna add my calendar widget, press and hold it, and I can add it right here and see my calendar. And this calendar is not gonna sync up to the internet. It's only gonna have what's on here. So like you don't have a Google account. It's not gonna save anything on the phone for you in terms of you being able to you know, back this phone up if it, if it died or anything like that. It's literally just everything's housed on here and you know no one's gonna get into it. it it's that's what's great about this is it's just a you know the phones it's just the phone you know you don't have to worry about your kid getting on the internet or anything like that because they uh they can't now there are two plans here there's one plan that allows you uh all the plans allow you to make phone calls and text and that's unlimited but only one of the plans for five dollars more uh, for 25 bucks you're able to send picture messages uh, otherwise you can't send any picture messages so i have uh, the plan right here I'm on is the $25 plan. So I can, you know, type, Hey, what's up and hit send. And if I wanted to, I can attach a photo. So I'm going to go in here or video, any, or any of these things. There it is my pictures. And maybe I want to send this photo. I'll hit send. And again, you don't have to get this plan. So if you don't want your kid to be able to send pictures and MMS messages, stuff like that, then you don't have to have that. You can just have the regular $20 plan. Uh, calls on this were perfectly fine. I didn't have any issues with any phone calls or anything like that. When you want to access your voicemail, what you do is you open up the dialer, you press and hold one, and it automatically goes into voicemail. And you have to set it up, but basically that's how you access uh, your voicemail right there. It does come with a camera app, like I showed you a little bit earlier. Here's some photos that I took on here in a video. So I'll just play these real quick for you so you can get an idea. And then here's the back camera for the Gab Z2. What do you think it looks and sounds like? Let me know in the comments down below. Comments down below. Here's the back camera. Here's a video on the Gab Z2. And I'm recording it on the phone, but ultimately I'll have to like text it to myself in order to get the video. So you'll quality be a little bit downgraded, but this is speakers are super clear. They're not the loudest, but they get the job done. If you're in a, a quiet a room, you'll definitely be able to hear them. Here's a picture I took. Not bad at all. Again, it's not the best camera, but it, it'll get the job done for uh, you know basic tasks. I'll open up the camera real quick so you can get an idea of what kind of features are in here. So you get just photos and videos, and then when you press more, you can either do, you can do time lapses and uh, manual mode, which is interesting. But other than that, that's, uh, you know, basic, basic settings with the, uh, with the camera on here. Uh, you can change the resolution of the photos. If you want to take something with lower resolution, you can do that. Shutter tone, you can turn that off. Now, one interesting thing. So since you don't have internet on here, you can't just download music or um, you know, download videos or stream anything. So in order to get music and videos on, you need to use, uh, I would just use the included cable because I know it for sure it works. Use the included USB-C cable that comes with the phone or if you have another USB-C and then plug the other end in. So USB-C into the phone and then the other USB, the fat one, into a computer and um, it will ask you if you want to connect uh, via PTP. You choose that and then you go in there and you're able to transfer uh, music and videos and photos uh, from your computer to your device. You can also move stuff from this phone over to your computer as well. So I guess you kind of can back up that way. Uh, I put one, um, one video and one uh, song on here so you'll see when I go into music, I, the song's already here, and I can just play it. Green. 
So that's my song right there. And then video, I don't know if it's because it's a MOV file, it probably is, but when I play the video, this is a 4K, that's actually 1080p 60 actually, I think about it, 1080p video, but it plays it flawlessly, really, really nicely. The only problem is this doesn't have any sound for some reason, and I think it's just the Kodak. So if I had, if this was an MP4 file, it'd probably be fine, but it's an MOV file. So again, that's probably why it plays, but it doesn't have sound. So I wouldn't be worried if you put a video on here, just make sure it's an MP4 file and you'd be absolutely fine. If you want to multitask, press the recent apps button, hit the three dots next to an app, go to split screen, and then it'll allow you to uh, you know, find an app. Maybe I want to go into text messaging. I'm watching a video and I'm, text mess I'm texting. I can do that. So you can do two things at once. Uh, which is very nice turn it this way and again you get the two apps at once so it does multitasking uh, it just doesn't have internet <laughs> like i said the settings menu if you want to see that uh, quick toggles are right here and uh, you get a lot of the same quick toggles you would have before you can connect bluetooth headphones if you want you can turn on and off your ringer you can turn off your flashlight on airplane mode if you're going flying a screenshot button power saver night mode Go into settings and this is all the settings that you have on the phone you have your networks which you can come in here and you can see that it's actually connected uh, through the verizon wireless network that's what gab uses so if you're good with verizon you'll have very good service and you should verizon's pretty good pretty much everywhere you can check your battery life and uh, see if, if there's anything eating up the battery at all turn on battery optimization turn off turn on and off battery percentage go into features and you can go into system navigation if you want to use gestures like uh, the new Google does you now have gestures on here swipe up and down left and right and all that stuff and it looks like you can switch the buttons which I do like this I didn't uh, do this earlier and I can you know now I have my back button on the uh, on the right one-handed mode schedule power on and off for the phone to save some battery life display you can turn on dark theme like i have on right now so it makes it black i increased my screen timeout for to two minutes increase your font sizes and you know again that's pretty much it i, I couldn't even find system updates in here I, I guess they don't do system updates in here at least i didn't see it in, at all but overall, it's um, you know, it's it's a fairly snappy app, like a uh, phone. Uh, just just jumping around, uh, um, you know, for for a hundred dollar phone, it's uh, it works pretty well. I was pretty impressed with, you know, just jumping around and watching videos. You saw I was multitasking. Uh, phone calls sound absolutely fine. It's it's a it's a cool starter phone for kids. Uh, I guess one thing that I would like to see happen with this phone is, and, and maybe it'll happen or maybe you can do it, but I, I didn't see anything about it, is they could grow into this phone. Maybe you could add internet to it for an additional, whatever, five bucks, 10 bucks, so that the kids can have internet when they turn, you know, 15 or something like that. But overall, for, for just a basic phone, for them to be able to take some photos, to be able to text, to be able to listen to music and watch videos and not really have internet, um, I think it's perfectly fine and the service is pretty cheap as well. So if you want to pick it up, I'll link it down below. There is a coupon code uh, that you can use and you'll save 10 bucks. So thanks for watching. See you guys down the road. Peace.